In this video, I'm going to show you how to write 1-bit, 2-bit, and 3-bit gray code. So to start off, I'm just going to write down some useful information. 1-bit is 2 to the 1, which is equal to 2. 2-bit two is 2 to the 2, which is equal to 4. And 3-bit is 2 to the 3, which is equal to 8. These numbers here are useful because they tell us how many terms are in each column. So 1-bit has two terms, or two codes, 2-bit has four codes, and 3-bit has eight codes. Now let's start off with a 1-bit. So 1-bit can either be 0 or 1. And 1-bit is complete. This is the gray code for 1-bit. And it's actually the same as the binary. Now I want to move on to 2-bit, but I'm going to use the 1-bit that I found make the process a little bit easier. I'm going to move it over to my 2-bit column. So I'm going to write 0 and 1. The first thing I notice is that I have two terms, or two codes, and I need four. So to do that, I'm going to draw this line, and I'm going to mirror everything above the line. So 0 and 1 mirrored is 1 and 0. And the next thing I'll notice uh, right off the bat is that this is not 2-bit. I have four terms like I need, but I need to make it 2-bit. And to do that, I'm going to add zeros to the top half for everything above the line. And I'm going to add ones to everything below the line. So now I have successfully written 2-bit gray code. And I want to move on to the 3-bit gray code. So again, I'm going to borrow the work that I've already done to make the process easier and I'm just going to write them over here in the 3-bit column. And the first thing I notice is that I have four terms or four codes and I need eight. To get eight I'm going to mirror, I'm going to mirror, so one zero, one one, zero one, and zero zero. The next thing I'll notice is that this is in 2-bit and not in 3-bit. So I need to convert it to 3-bit and to do that I just add zeros to the top half. So 0, 0, 0, 0. And I add 1's to the bottom half. And it's important that you add the zeros and the 1's in front of the numbers that you previously wrote because this keeps them in order. You could write them at the end and it would technically be right, but the, uh, the gray codes would not be in order. They wouldn't be one bit apart.